my message to you is that it's no longer enough for us to be progressive. We've been passively progressive for a long, long time. We've got to become aggressive again because the powers of be have become radically regressive. And many of our CEOs are porking out on multi-million dollar pay packages and golden parachutes plus bonuses and stock options and retirement deals. Yet at the same time, these same CEOs are trying to knock down the wages and take back the health care benefits and defund the pensions and bust the unions of their own workers. I tell you, some of these guys are getting so rich they could afford to air condition hell, and I tell you what, they better be setting some money aside for that project. <laughs> George W.'s darting around, even yesterday, like a sand flea on steroids, telling us that his Iraq attack is a noble cause, that continuing the war is essential to America's national security, that it's worth the sacrifice that we are making. We? Do we look like we have sucker wrappers around our heads? Note that the Bush twins, Jenna and Barbara, who are a primo enlistment age, are making no sacrifice whatsoever. If the cause is so noble, why aren't they in Daddy's war? And where are George W.'s eight nieces and nephews, who also are of primo enlistment age? Instead of going to Baghdad or Basra, they're going to bars and ball games. The Pentagon says it's having a hard time recruiting enough people to fill its quotas for Iraq. Well, I just counted 10 members of Bush's immediate family who would make damn good prospects of saying to me, why don't the recruiters knock on the White House door at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, and why don't they knock on the doors of Congress and Halliburton and Wall Street while they're at it? And yet they say to us, be quiet, you know, just hunker down. Don't rock the boat, don't challenge the commander in chief, we're at war, be quiet. Well, holy Thomas Paine. <laughs> Since when do freedom-loving Americans ever cower in quietude? If you don't speak out when it matters, when would it ever matter that you would speak out? Now is the time. We must speak out loudly and boldly. Isn't Jim Hightower the bomb? <laughs> Um, Amy Goodman's about to be up here, but I wanted to uh, bring up a friend of mine, uh, a little treat.